Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and let's see the further effects of BP. There's an enemy base there? Yeah. Affirmative, General. <laughs> the awkwardness of that conversation is amazing. But yeah, this place... A giant sea of pollution. Luckily, we don't have to blue marine through it, like the last level. And that was a nice little short start thing. Okay, I can see now. Cool. Oh, it's actually kind of dark. Well, then that's annoying. Yes, yes. Okay, these guys you have to bomb if you want to kill them. Wish I could show you, but my timing's off. Oh, plus five. Nice, okay. Although I don't care about score anymore ever since that uh, competition ended for me. I basically said that if I ever got over 200, then I'd be done. I got 201, and somebody beat me within an hour. So I just said, screw it, I'm done. I gave it a shot, and I lost. So yeah, for this level to continue the hard route, you have to shoot out all the searchlights. And of, of course, God. I really cannot see the enemies. And now I'm being chased. Yeah, I noticed. I can't see these guys. They blend in with the sea. Ah, oh, ah! Oh, I did that right. Yes, ah. Oh. Hello, pink cat person named Cat. Okay. So yeah, could you? Okay, no. Uh, if the lights turn like a. Oh shoot! 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 Oh my God. If the lights turn a red or so, then you missed it, and you'll have to start over. That is, if you want to go the hard route, which I would would it quite thoroughly enjoy to go the hard. Never mind. At way to be in my way, Slippy. So yeah, yeah. There's something else I want to update on. Oh my god, but I'm too busy concentrating to not miss the searchlights. Could I shoot that one Mr. C monster thing? Oh god. That was a complete accident, cat. You're welcome. Oh, thanks. I'm not into that kind of thing. Okay, checkpoint good. What ru I used to think that this thing floating around here was the rudder, and I had to shoot that. No, it's actually this wheel thing that he's currently shooting. Uh, but yeah. So let's shoot one of them, because we want to get rid of this searchlight. And boom. Most of your points are going to come from these sh searchlights. Let's get some supplies, even though I really don't ever use bombs. I didn't even use bombs in the score challenge. I just don't use them whatsoever. And then finally, something I can see. This level is incredibly dark. Oh, yay. Somersault that. I didn't mean to aim for the box, but okay. There are supplies in the boxes and stuff. I think one of them has a gold ring, or not. Usually the boxes on the cranes have gold rings, though. Oh, there's the gold ring. Okay. Shoot these guys! Ah, okay. At least I haven't lost my wings. So many enemies here. Oh my god. Oh god. And you know another thing? I never knew about all those secret places that you could spawn enemies from in Corneria. That makes me wonder if there are other areas like that in this game on different planets. Like if I were to fly through right here, would that make a bunch of enemies appear? Uh, maybe. These guys showed up, although I think these guys always show up. Ow! No, ow! I'm underwater. What the? Oh god. Stop shooting. Yeah. But... Oh, Jesus. So many lasers. It's a surprise in every box. Oh, no, I did not want that, actually. Okay, so looks like I'm going in with minimal health through most of... Thank God. You want to make sure that Palk is alive, otherwise you have to do that for yourself. And it's actually incredibly difficult. Okay, good, we made it to the boss. The boss is actually pretty easy. And all these barrels give silver rings. Provided you could destroy them before they turn into fire. And the record for yours is like 250, maybe even 300, although I don't think it goes that high. Yes, yes. 
So yeah, this boss is pr pretty easy. Oh god. Um, could I maybe shoot you? Destroy this? No, still no. You need to use bombs for this guy because that's the only way you can destroy his armor, at least for now. Hey, I remember that thing. We saw this thing earlier. So it was really the boss that we saw. That's interesting. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no. We don't want to destroy the cannon quite yet. We actually want to destroy the little smokestack things. I always make that mistake. Why? Fire. Torpedo? That's a barrel, sir. Okay, he's not giving silver rings for those. So, yeah. Destroy these things first. Uh, they take two shots. Oh, because Slippy's dead, we don't have the health meter. And you can destroy his little cannonballs to get the smart bomb things. Yes, yes. So, shoot two. I'll grab that. And grab this one. Um, so yeah, now that his smokestack things are destroyed, uh, now we can... This would be a good example of a boss that would look awesome in 3D on the 3DS. Just because of all the cannonballs going across the screen. Oh wait, we're supposed to destroy the crane at that point, oops. I was too busy talking about 3D and technology that technically doesn't exist yet. Uh, yes, yes, destroy the crane. Okay, there we go. So now he can't pick up his cannons. We completely miss your shot. Again, missing the shot. Again, missing the shot. Again, missing the shot. There. Wait, wait, didn't... There! God! And now you can shoot him normally. Because you can't, uh... What's the word? You can't grind bombs anymore because his cannonballs are down. But there we go! We finally beat him in seven minutes. Looks like we're only gonna get through two worlds of this video. Which is fine, because then we'll go through the last two worlds in the next video, and then we'll be done with this. All aircraft report. I keep forgetting that the I keep thinking that a more difficult level is next, but no, we actually have okay. Sector Z first, which is meh. Well, and Slippy's gone, which is I don't know, unfortunate, I guess. Oh, practically doubling our score. That's awesome. Not really, because we're like more than halfway through this place, this route. So yeah, Sector Z. I wonder why it's called Sector Z. Oh well, everything's been going well so far. Well, somewhat well. Proceed. The enemy army is gunning for you. Be careful. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting Don't worry, one, sir. actually. Technically, this world does not have a boss. I say technically because there is still something that you really need to destroy. Yes. So, the enemy army is gunning for us because we're actually heading towards the main army base. Enemy approaching from the left. And, yeah. Basically, we have we'll to deal with this. Take this one. So, here we go. It's another one of those all range mode missions, and I still don't know how to do the U turn thing, so I'm going to mess around to see if I can do that. That's the somersault. Nice, welcome. No, um, no. How do I do the somersault thing? The U turn, whatever. I forget how to do that. Also, somebody's gunning for me. Oh, so no slippy. Take care of the guy which. In a level like this, I'm perfectly fine with it. Aww, gee. Oh god, Falco. I'd expect you to be able to somersault. You know, Peppy, you keep on saying, hey, Fox, help me out. Keep, you keep on asking for me to help you out, and yet you're the one who gave me tips on like how to somersault to evade the enemy and stuff. Why can't you do that stuff? But, yeah. So, moving around, moving around, there's the guy. Just waste some time until your, uh, technically boss shows up. There we go. Basically, your boss is a giant missile. Not just one giant missile, but six. It starts off with one, and then two, and then three. And they all come from the same end, which will flash red. 
And one of your teammates will also go after the missiles. Except I'm currently being shot at. You turn. Or some myself. And then you just want to destroy the missile. It helps to have blue laser. So that's one down. Now we have to wait like 30 seconds for the second one to show up. So, launch. He's dead. Pretty low score for this world, too. You only need 50 to get the medal, I believe. It might be 100, but I really doubt that. Uh, it depends on how much the missile gives you. But yeah, seeing as how we're waiting now, I can finally make that little update I was talking about earlier. Um, I've actually got a bunch of new equipment, including a new video editor, different from Movie Maker, which is what I usually use. Uh, that allows me to save the files in a higher quality. I, I also have the Dazzle and set up and working great. Everything's working on that, sound and everything. I have this microphone and the Audacity. And what's also nice is that with the new thing, I can censor stuff, which will be really helpful for when and if I let's play God of War. So. Yeah, I want to let's play uh, well, God of War at some point. I just need to work out some kinks when it comes to the censoring because right now, all that I have is making the entire screen pixelated and not just certain parts. So I have to figure that out if at all possible. Um, so yeah. So now we have three missiles all at once. Cat will destroy one for us. Yes, yes. Cat, cat, cat. Where are the missiles? There we go. Uh, brakes help somewhat. At least until they get on that. Just, just get behind them. Uh, uh, the missiles. That's what. I'm trying to save the brake box. Happy. There. That was cool. We destroyed them within a second of each other. But yeah, I have the microphone working, I have Audacity working, I have the Dazzle working, I have Virtual Dub working, I have Video Pad working. Only thing about Video Pad is that it takes like 10-15 minutes just to load the video into Video Pad, especially if it's a 20 gig file like a 15 minute recording on the Dazzle is. Like literally it takes 0 0.01 okay? gigs just for a single Rick second okay. and multiply that by 15 20 that minute video. That's call. quite a bit of file. So yeah. We've got the bad guys on the run. It might those episodes might come later than usual if I have to do stuff with that and I will. Obviously, I'm going to do stuff with it. And the metal score is 100 for this world, so wow. Well, then again, I didn't spend a lot of time killing people, but whatever. I was being pacifist at the moment. At least I saved the Great Fox. So, in the next part, we are going to head into what is basically the enemy army base, sort of. And then Venom, once again, to finish this up. So next part's the finale. This actually timed out very well. Tomorrow I'm going to have the fi finale of Final Fantasy IV. And then the day after I'm having the finale of this. And then we could start my 8-bit my summer entry. So yeah. Pretty awesome. Oh, I got a medal on there. Okay, and there. And Corneria. And because I use save states in between videos it shows that I don't have a medal there even though technically I do but hey we're almost done so yeah see you all then